Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is a video today for my guys on a low budget. I'm gonna be talking you through some ways that you can make coins in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team with a budget of anywhere from zero coins all the way up to like 150 to 200K. We're gonna be looking at some bidding strategies today. It's gonna be basically bidding um, so that we can flip cards and flip cards quickly and increase that coin amount very, very quickly. These are some very OP methods, especially right now in foot, with a lot of people doing league SBCs. With all of these SBCs out in the game, there's constant demand for all of the players in these leagues because people are wanting to get either these rewards from completing the entire league SBC, or they're wanting to get the pack rewards that you can completing the individual SBCs, right? So these, these league SBCs right here are the main focus for us today. These are the main cards that we're going to be looking to to find and to bid on. I've been starting to flip a few of these cards just to kind of get back into the swing of things. But, you know, I like to trade with a lot of icons, right? But before you can get to a level where you trade with these icons, you have to get some coins, right? I just made three to 400 coins per card right here on these silvers, right? It was very easy. I'm going to show you how I did that right now. I'm going to talk you through it step by step. Step. Now, first thing I want to show you, this is going to be three methods in this video today. First method is using League SBCs. And is, th is this video for everybody? Yes, I think it is because if you're somebody who has 8 million coins like me or somebody who has 10,000 coins maybe like you, we can all use this information to become a better trader on this game. And this is a good way um, to even practice for like the beginning of FIFA when everybody starts on zero coins. But regardless, um, here we go with a... This is a League SBC inside of, uh, a League SBC solution inside of FIFA 20, right? So I, what I did here is I went and I found the League SBCs on flippin.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description where you can find these these uh, League SBCs. So I'm inside of the Serie A League SBC and I'm gonna click on a squad. Let's click on SPA, right? This is a League SBC solution for SPA. So people come to this page to find out which cards they need to buy to complete this league SBC it costs about 9,000 coins on the PlayStation at the moment, right? But if we look over these cards, this Dabo is 1,300, this Valodi is 800, Valdefori 1,400, Tiago is 2,100 coins, right? Some of these cards we're going to be able to get on bid for very, very cheap. And again, people are always doing these league SBCs. There's always demand for these cards. So I'm going to take you over to foot, and we're going to look at some of these cards individually right this is the first method that i want to look, talk with you guys about today looking at individual cards that you need for league sbcs so this dabo 1200 coins right um now the, we have to make sure that we're buying the correct one because we want the one from spall the one that i just looked up there was fiorentina both of these are from from fiorentina let me find a one that's from spall really quick Boom, there's two. Make sure when you're buying these cards, right? Make sure you're buying ones that are from the correct team. A lot of these cards have, you know, a lot of these people have changed. These 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 players have changed teams. Uh, and sometimes the team that you're looking to buy is not the exact one that you actually need for that SBC. So anyways, for this Dabo, looks like he's selling for 1,900 coins for this small uh, version of his card. We have a couple open bids here for 300 coins. We're gonna check those on the transfer list and try to catch them on an open bid because we know we can sell them for like 1.9k we can get them on bid for a, a thousand coins or less that would be fantastic fantastic profit let's look at one more card the tiago right it was tiago konier that was his was that his name tiago kionek ah it's this guy right here it says it's 2,000 coins uh, according to footbin this guy the small card here Ooh, there's some at 1400 interesting uh, but how many open bids do we have? Again, we're looking for the open bids, the quick, quick flips. This guy's usually like around 2K-ish. Boom. Two minutes left. We have a 200 coin bid, a 150 coin open bid, right? These open bids are going to be everywhere for these cards on this game. Add them to my transfer targets and we'll go back and we'll bid on those here in a minute or so. So that's kind of step one, right? You're going through an individual league SBC. Let's look at one more. We have a couple, we have like a minute before that card's gonna show up, right? Flokari, how much is he? How much is this guy? 900, thousand? This guy's right around a thousand coins, boom. A thousand for Flokari. How much can we get him for on bid? Any open bids about? Let's set it to 800. 800, there's a couple of them, right? So we have a couple open bids here. We can add this guy and boom. 
Now we're just trading inside of one league SBC solution, and we're going to be looking for a few of these cards. Now, show me these. Tiago Kionic, right? 350. There's a bit of competition here. We missed a dabble on 850 bid. Now, that card was probably relisted for by another person trading with these for like 1.7 or 1.8K. They're making almost 1,000 coins on that flip right there. So that is a GG for them uh, on that flip. So again, you, you can do this all day long with these cards. You just find a card that is on an open bid, and you get on the bids if you know the price via the league SBC that we use here, right? So I'm going to try to win this for like four, for like maybe under a thousand because I know I can sell it at 15 or 1600 over the hours time frame. So I'm going to go ahead and bid 600 on this. Looks like we have some competition though. So it might not be the best odds for us to win this. Um, but again, this is, this is um, way, this is like method number one that you can use to bid on these cards. And you, again, the biggest thing here is you're finding cards that sell for an inflated value because of League SBC. I'm just gonna drop a 1K bid. I'll go 1.2K and I'll walk away from this one just in case, right? I'm gonna show you method number two, just in the sake of keeping this video moving and keeping the information flowing to you. Again, we're gonna be looking at silvers and we're gonna look at an entire league at one time right now though. Instead of searching for one player, we're going to make this little filter right here. You can do this with almost any league, especially a top five league, because those are the league SBCs that are completed the most. We're looking at Serie A right at the moment. Max price, 300 coins, quality, silver. You set this max price at 250 or 300 coins, you're going to be looking at a lot of cards like this Casata. Does he sell for anything? This guy is going on a 150 bid. Oh, it went away. This is, oh my gosh, Lukic. What is this from uh, Torino? Always add it to your transfer targets, right? This guy, wow, this is actually an expensive silver, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got to get back to my transfer targets. That is a way right there. That filter that I just showed you is a perfect way to get um, some... Oh, it went away, man. No way. How much is this card worth, bro? How much is this card worth? Yo, that's a 2,000 coin silver card, and this guy just got it for 300 coins. So this filter that I'm showing you right now is a great way to look at a mass amount of silver cards at any one time. Favlini, right? We're going to add it to our transfer targets. Then we're going to compare the price. I see a couple at 600, but you know what? At 150 coins, you literally cannot go wrong. You literally cannot go wrong. What about De Alessandro? There's one at 900 coins right there. A lot of these cards, you can honestly, if you see a bid at 150, you can drop the bid because at the very least, they'll probably sell at 200. But what we're looking for here is kind of what we saw with that last card, uh, Krunich, right? That, uh, that's a big team. Da Costa and Krunich. Let's go take a look at these. I'm going to my transfer targets to compare price on these cards. Da Costa, 300 coins. Looks like he might sell for like 650 or 750. I'll drop a bid at 300. What about Krunich at 350? What does he sell for? Somewhere around maybe a thousand? I'll drop a 450 bid. Now, one thing you have to be very careful of when you're comparing price and using a filter like this when you're quickly comparing the price for Da Costa and Krunich. Let me go look them up individually. You have to make sure that you're getting an act an accurate representation of the price, right? So this Da Costa, uh, what was he rated? He was a silver. He was rated like what? Was it this guy right here? 72 rated Da Costa? Yeah, this is him. This is him. When you compare price on a card, right? When I click compare price, I'm obviously not seeing all of the listings. So you got to make sure. That's why you add the card to your transfer targets if it's in that 30 second window. So this DaCosta card sells for 550. Looks like he sells for 550. I just got him on bid for 300, right? So that's 250 coins of profit right there. Again, if you're using this filter, let's go back to Syria, 300 coins. This is the biggest tip that I can give you. When you go to these cards, right, you find ones you want to bid on. Patricione, we're going to add him to the transfer targets. Um, this is a center back. I would, I'm going to add him to the transfer targets as well. We're going to look at Patricione. Patricione. Uh, let me find my guy right here. This is my guy. This is the best way to look up the prices individually instead of comparing price. Boom, 650, all right? He's on the market for 650. I forget the other guy's name, but we added him to the transfer targets, and there's a little bit of time left so we can actually find him. So boom, Patricione, 250. You know what? I can sell him for 650. I'll drop a cheeky bid of 300, and if I win that, we'll be sitting pretty. What about this guy? What about this guy? 
I see a thousand right there, a center back from from that team. I'm I'll, I'm okay with bidding 400. And as you start to do this, you'll learn which players are more expensive and which players are less expensive. So boom, How, did I win any of these bids? I did. Uh, wait, let me go back a page. Here we go. I won Da Costa and Favellini. So on Favellini, looks like he sells for right around 500 coins, maybe 550, maybe 500 coins. So you know what? I'm gonna list that up for. I'll list it up for 400 coins. I'm making 300 like 350 coins after tax right there. Boom. That's a solid sale right there. You know, you're making a little bit at a time. Oh, Patricione, my man. We got him for 300. He sells for 650, right? I'll list it for 600 even and undercut that price by 50 coins. Boom. And then, oh, we got this Dimitri guy as well. All right, I'm going to have to go look at his price really quick, boys. All right. D. The, the, the pronunciation is, is not top tier on these boys i'm i'll be honest this guy sells for 900 coins and we just got him for 400 is that right so dudes i know this does not seem like a lot but if you're somebody on those low coin amounts right this is massive for you i'll list him for 850 and that should sell pretty fast we're already getting a couple of sales rolling in on the transfer list as you see i trade a lot with icons um favelini boom 400 coins almost instantly purchased that's a GG right there. So we got one sale literally in seconds on one of our first cards right there. So that's that's the whole point of flipping these cards to get quick, quick flips, right? So that's methods number one and two. To kind of build off of method number two, I want to show you guys a way to do this with non-rare golds. If you don't want to trade with silvers, that's fine. You can do it with non-rare golds. I'm here on Footbin. I've sorted by the most expensive non-rare golds, which you go to players, FIFA 20 players, you click this. Then you go to versions, you go to gold, you go to gold non-rare, right? Way down here. That's how you can sort all the gold non-rares and then sort by order by PS price or Xbox price, whatever you're on, high to low. And then you're going to kind of scroll down to like page three or four. Find some of these cards that are like 2000 coins. Sven Bender is my example, right? This is a center back for Leverkusen. He's 2K at the moment, according to Footbin. All right, let's go check out Sven Bender. How much is he actually going for on the market? 2,000 coins. Sven Bender. There's a few of them. 41 minutes left. What about 1,900? 1,900 for Sven Bender right now. How many open bids do we have? All right. How many open bids do we have? I'll bid up to 1,400 if I can sell at 1,900. Look at all of these open bids in the next 10 minutes. We In the next like 13 minutes, we have a full page of Sven Benders on open bid that we could be getting uh, at a low price, right? So you're going to add these to your transfer targets. This is one way that you can kind of control the market on one card. If you just want to focus on one card instead of a lot of them, you can do it this way as well. Try to get them on bid. And that's another way. That's kind of like a just another way you can branch off the silver method and do it with, with non-rare golds if you want to. Patricioni, my man, selling at 600 coins as well. That is a dub. All right, last thing. This is for like, the, so those methods I just showed you, right? That's perfect if you're on anywhere from 10K to like 50, 60, 70,000 coins. But once we get up to that 100K range, we want to graduate into something a little bit more, right? We want to start trading with some more profitable cards because now that we have more coins, we can go spend more coins to make more coins, right? It just compounds until you get to the highest levels of trading on FIFA. I'm looking at Team of the Week 18. You're like, why am I looking at Team of the Week 18? I'm looking at these guys on the bench, the SBC fodder cards on the bench of these Team of the Weeks is where you want to look, right? If you're on anywhere from 50, 60, 70 K and above, look for open bids on some of these informs that are almost forgotten about, right? What are these cards used for? SBCs and basically SBCs only. El Arabi, 84 rated. He's 18 K, right? This guy is basically SBC fodder, right? But he's from an old team of the week. And that's the key here. El Arabi inform it says he's 18 K. Do we have any? He's got a UCL card, so we cannot, we have to get those out by doing a min bid, right? Wow, 81, okay, we want the 84. That's a good thing to note. So we want the 84 rated, not the 81, because this guy has an 84 and 81. And here, so this guy's at like what, 19,000 coins, it looks like? 18,000 coins for the 84 rated El Arabi. So we're gonna go look for open bids on a card like this at like, you know, 15, 15,000 coins, boom. We wanna see all the informs, right? 84 rated. Here's an open bid El Arabi with 28 minutes left. Open bid, right? This is the card you're going to want to watch. Try to get it on bid for cheap. And you can look through 
a lot of these team of the weeks back on Footbin, the older that you go, the better. Because for these SBC cards, the longer that they're out in the game, the less supply they have. And if somebody needs to go buy it for an SBC, if they're using an SBC solution, you could make some coins on it. Pacheco, 26K, Junior Morales, 12K. You don't want to look at 12 card, 12K cards. You want to look and see if they're like 15K and above. Because those cards you'll be able to get on bid cheap enough and get some some profit off of. And again, we're looking at old team of the weeks. Old team of the week. So like this uh, Trimmel guy, right? Right wing back from Union Berlin. Let's look at Trimmel. My dude. This could be a good card right here. Trimmel. Christopher Trimmel. Special card. Uh, it says he is 18,000 coins. He is currently 18,000 coins. Five minutes left. And this guy's got an 11 thousand coin open bid right here there's potential for profit on this card right this card sells for 18k we might be able to get it for 11k on bid that could be massive so again that's kind of a method you can use if you're starting to move up the ranks 50 60 70 000 coins or above you can start moving up those ranks i just got another sale who did i sell here Dimitri, boom 850 i got that for 400 so again you can see how this can be very profitable over time because you're constantly turning in and out cards on these open bids. What did this Sven Bender go for? Okay, this went for 1500 Did any of these other ones go for cheap? I'm watching Eusebio right now as well. That's in a totally different price range. 1.1K <laughs> for this. 350 right? And then I have uh, a Mandana that I'm watching. This guy sells for 15 16 k And then Trimmel, right? So that's kind of how you go for it. I'm not going to be able to have time in this video to go, go for these informs just because I want to keep it short for you guys. But those are the three methods you can do to get yourself from like 0, 10K, all the way up to 200,000 coins. And it will go by fast, boys. Let me tell you. All right. Let me tell you. It'll go by fast because as you can see, I just flipped three cards within a matter of like 10 minutes. And if you're being wholly focused on this and entirely focused, uh, it can be very, very profitable if you're on that lower tier budget. So if you guys enjoyed this video today and it helped you out at all, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.